just wading out into the freezing cold English Channel wearing a Gikoton TPS survival suit. It may look like quite a clunky suit, but Gikoton's TPS survival suit is actually quite manoeuvrable. It's made from titanium neoprene and designed to be able to keep the wearer warm as long as possible whilst he can still do his normal activities on a boat. We took one out in Bigbury on the south coast of the UK. Not quite the Southern Ocean, but still pretty parky to test the maker's claims. I still had my Sunday best on underneath the suit, so I was hoping it wouldn't leak. The water's about eight or nine degrees, I think. And um, it's blowing about a force seven, force eight. But I'm quite warm in here, and so far it's, it's pretty much like a dry suit, but I'm expecting any minute now the buoyancy to kick in and to be flipped up on my back. Just feeling the, the air escape out through my neck at the moment. I took the neoprene mitts off so I could speak to the camera while I was floating in the water and it was really surprising how quickly and how cold my hands got and it emphasised even though the water was 9 degrees and not below 5 degrees which it would be in the southern ocean quite how quickly an exposed part of your body can get cold, really cold. Yes, it's quite sheltered here, but I can't feel any water ingress so far. Not that I should be able to, given that you should be able to spend three or four days in the Southern Ocean like this. But the rest of me was totally warm and dry, um, which was a testament to the suit. And it was also very comfortable, because there's such, such good inherent buoyancy in the suit. You don't need a life jacket, although obviously it'd be advisable to wear one. Uh, and you've got great support from the roll neck closure to keep your head up. So your head and feet are out of the water. Wearing the suit in the water proved to me not only how warm and dry it is, but how flexible it is. And the reason why, I guess, 17 out of 20, the skippers of the Vendée Globe in the last race carried one with them. Would I want to wear it in the Southern Ocean for three or four days whilst awaiting the rescue services? No, but I do know that it would keep me alive. Aren't you enjoying yourself out there? Yeah, it's very nice. I was just saying, it's like floating on a lilo. So relaxing. <laughs>